hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and in this video first of all uh, come here to the login activity and here you remember that we have used this private firebase user current user on our login activity okay and we do not need it uh, on our login activity so remove this from here okay and also you can see here which is current user remove this and now scroll down here and here we have our own start method okay so remove this also because uh, whenever our, our, we restart our app then our app restart uh, from the main activity so there on the main activity we already use this validation that is if the user is logged in if the user is authenticated then he is able to use this app but if a user is not authenticated then we send the user to the login activity so we do not need this here okay so make sure to remove these three things which i show you guys now okay on our login activity because if we do not remove it uh, right now then in the future video tutorials we will get uh, error and our app will crash because of that so make sure to remove this now let's start uh, First of all, uh, go to the Android manifest.xml file and here we need to add a permission. So here you can simply uh, add this angle uh, sign and then you can simply write uses, U-S-E-S, -E uses. And here you can see this uses permission. Click that and we need the permission for the internet. And yeah, that's it. Now close this. And now let's come here to the register activity and here we need to first let me tell you that is whenever a new account is created what we did we just we authenticate the user I mean uh, the user email and password is added in the Firebase authentication and we send the user uh, to the login activity and then loading bot dot dismiss now instead of that uh, what we will be doing here that is instead of sending the user to the login activity we will send the user to the main activity so for that what we gonna do we can simply create a method now send user to main activity and now come down here and let's copy paste this and change this login to main activity and it should send the user from the register activity to the main activity and change this login intent to main intent copy paste this here also and now we need to add some validation okay so that the user cannot uh, go back if he press the back button so here we can say main intent dot add flags intent dot flag activity new task and if you scroll down then here it is okay flag activity new task then after this this pipe sign which is this one and then intent dot flag activity clear task make sure to put a semicolon here and then we can uh, start the activity and after this we can say finish now make sure to call this method whenever uh, here we I mean when a user is authenticated or you can say if a user uh, a new account is created okay inside our create new account method here if the task is successful now come down here and copy this send user to uh, main activity copy this and go to the login activity first of all and here at the bottom we have used this uh, main activity which is a simple one okay so remove this and instead of that press that uh, send to user activity okay so and also change this to login activity so this is exactly the same method I mean when a user logged in then we will send the user to the main activity which is this one okay which is when a user allow user to log in method so yeah that is now the reason for this is that is whenever the user is logged in 
to the main activity or you can say to our app so he will be using to start using that app but if we uh, let's say click on the back button then we will not allow the user to go back to the login activity okay so a user will not be go back to the login activity once he logged in into this app so if he want to go to the login activity he will uh, press or click the log log out button okay by using the log out button he will be logged out from that app and yeah now come here to the register activity and here whenever we create the user first uh, let create here a database reference so then i will explain it or you will also understand it when we do it okay so private database reference we can call this as root reference and now in our uh, own create method here we can say root ref equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference and now come down here and inside our create new account method whenever uh, if the task is successful okay so if the account is created successfully then we will store uh, some data or you can say the user unique id inside our firebase database so first of all go to your firebase project and here we have this uh, firebase database click on this firebase database and now if you scroll down a little bit then here we have our choose real-time database okay so as you know that we will be using the real-time database so click here on this create database and then uh, here it is that is start in test mode and start in uh, log mode if you start in this mode then you will not be able to uh, read and write the data okay so you can simply click on this uh, start in test mode so the reading and writing will be allowed for uh, the users okay for your user for your app user so click on the start in test mode and now click enable and you can see our real-time database is uh, created you can say successfully now this is uh, our app key okay in your case maybe it will be different okay your app key so it doesn't matter i mean this is just i want to tell you that our real-time database is created and this is our root reference basically when we create here this root ref it is uh, here okay this root ref means that we are referencing to our firebase database root which is this one so now uh, what we gonna do now here uh, we can say first uh, let's get the id of a user the current user so here we can say current user id equals to amoth dot get current user dot get uid make sure to put a semicolon and then here we can say root ref dot child and the child will be the user's node then it will have a child by the uh, i mean the unique user id under that user node we will have a unique user id that is to which user this account basically belongs so when we run the app you will understand it when i will uh, show you the database okay so set value make sure to put a semicolon and the value will be null for now and yeah let's run the app so you can see that our app is running now successfully and before uh, we test it so let's come here to the database and also first of all go to the authentication and here we have created uh, this first account in the previous video tutorial so remove this okay delete this so now yeah let's check it and let's come here to the database and now need new account and here I will enter my email address and then password and click create account so if you have created any account earlier then please make sure to delete that account from your authentication because we have updated our code okay and here you can see we are logged in successfully and you can see the user node is created successfully if I click on that then here is the unique user id for a user now what it will uh, contain that is for each user whenever a new user is going to create a new account then for that user there will be a unique key just like that okay and this is the value null 
now in the next tutorial we will work on the settings activity then we will store the user name and user uh, profile status that is about section you can say and now if i go to the authentication and if i refresh this then you can see this is my account and this is the uh, unique user id which is 2jvrv uh, and you can see this 2jrv so in this way uh, we have added uh, uh, this unique user id in our firebase database so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will uh, create a settings activity and we will further work on our this app so once we complete the uh, settings activity in the uh, next video tutorial then we will uh, start work on the group chat so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now